Are you ready for the challenge? The challenge, remember? Yes, the juice challenge, the seven day juice challenge. It's starting tomorrow. And today is going to be prep day. It's prep day, prep day. All right. Hey, beautiful. It's Coach Renee, your holistic health and wellness strategist. Welcome back to my channel, The Holistic Boss. And today's video, I'm going to show you how I prep, wash all of my fruits and my vegetables before I get juicing up. So let's go. So this is going to be a semi faceless video. So you might see my face and you may not. But the main thing is you focus on how I wash and prep my veggies before I put them in that juicer. And then I'll give you some tips on what you might want to grab in case you don't have those items. You want to go and grab those today, right? And if you don't have them, use what you have. So let's go, let's go, let's go. All right. So first things first, first things first is I, I have my big vegetable bowl right here, as you can see it. And then I, whatever I'm going to juice for that day or the next couple of days, I just put them all in this big bowl right here. But before I put my veggies in, I fill it up with some water, put some water, some, um, if you don't have filtered water, then you can buy some water, some distilled water from your store, right? Distilled water comes in a gallon like this, distilled water. All right. You can fill that up. And then I use apple cider vinegar. I pour apple cider vinegar in there to get all of the bacteria, all the debris out of the veggie, the veggies and the fruits, right? So I use this as this antibacterial, antimicrobial. So, and then I sprinkle some lemon juice on there, in there. I already did that. So we're going to put some more and then I get scrubbing. So this is my vegetable brush that I use to clean my vegetables. So you can grab this online. Um, it's a vegetable brush. This you can grab online. It's just a big bowl um, that you can put all your veggies in, depending on how much you are, you know, you're gonna juice up, right? And then you just get juicing. I mean, I'm sorry, not just juicing. You just get scrubbing. There you go, scrubbing. All right, so, you know, carrots is dirty, kale is dirty because they grow out. These are root vegetables. These, they grow out of the dirt, right? Out of the ground. So they have dirt, right? And then the apples, of course, we want to make sure our apples are clean and anything that we're juicing up, we want to make sure that they are nice and clean. So I'm going to show you how when you open up kale, right? In case you haven't ever opened up this curly kale, Sometimes you will see dirt in between here and like a here. Here you see, can you see that dirt right there? And then you see some more dirt right there, right? So I just wanted to give you an idea why we scrub these. So, and then, you know, carrots, of course, is dirty as well. So let's get scrubbing. We can scrub two at a time, three at a time, however many you can hold it in your hand. And we're just gonna, you know, just kind of scrub it, scrub it, scrub it, scrub the ends. Take it like that. And then it becomes nice and beautiful, right? The apple cider vinegar and the lemon both help to loosen up the dirt, the debris, remove the bacteria, the pesticides, if there are any pesticides, all those little things that we don't want in our juice, right? Because we are juicing to heal and to get healthier. And when we do that, we do not want to have any debris where we don't want to add no more chemicals, no more uh, pesticides, nothing, no bacteria. We're trying to get rid of all that stuff, right? So this is how you scrub them and look how beautiful those is. You can wear gloves or not. It's up to you. Um, look at how beautiful those carrots came out, right? After you scrub them, scrub the dirt out. So here we go. We got more. See, uh, and I know you know what dirt looks like, but there's dirt on there. Anyway, so let's scrub these. So this is prep day, 
this is juice prep day. This is how you prep before you get your juices started, right? Before you start juicing up your veggies. It takes a lot of work sometimes to get everything prepared to get your juice. So I like to do like the day before sometimes. If I have time, I do the day before. If not, it's going to take me longer than I want, right? So this little thing right here, this little ugly little piece right here, I'm going to chop that off because I don't want that. I don't know what that is, but I'm going to chop it off. And then we have some celery. And celery, once again, all these fruits and veggies are good for us, but not the dirt to come along with them. So here's some celery that I want to clean, scrub. I'm doing the kale last because that's going to take a little bit more time. Just a little bit more time. So, so go grab your vegetable brush, your big bowl to hold all of these beautiful things, right? All right, next is the apple. Gonna go in between there, get the dirt out of there, get the dirt out of there. And then you can rub around the sides on the dirt, you know, I mean on the apple, you don't want to um, punch or put holes in the apple, right? Okay. All right, so we got a lemon. If you're gonna juice up your lemon, you wanna, and you're gonna, and if you're gonna keep the, um, the peel on the lemon, you, you're gonna keep the skin on, you want to make sure that you clean this lemon very well. Sometimes I peel it, sometimes I keep the skin on. It depends on what type of juice I'm making that day. All right. Last but not least, I am going to give the kale a good cleansing, good brushing, good scrubbing. And when you scrub the kale, and for those of you um, I didn't mention in one of my previous videos, I know kale is rough around the edges, but to make kale much more friendly or not so rough around the edges, you can massage your kale. I massage my kale with apple cider vinegar and little lemon, and it comes out greener and easier on the digestive tract, right? But when you are juicing it, you don't really have to worry about that as much, but you still need to, of course, wash it like I'm doing here, right? And the reason why I'm washing or uh, scrubbing the kale and the leaves, the stems, I'm going to keep the stems on as I juice them because it has more nutrients and vitamins inside, right? So that's... I have three leaves of kale in here, but this is just a prep video. I just want to show you how I wash and scrub my vegetables and my fruit, right? might seem time consuming, but it's worth every bit for your health. All of these vitamins and nutrients inside of everything here is well worth the effort, right? Well worth the effort. Okay, so what I do, um, once, once I scrub all of this, I will... Give it a good soak, good massage, 
and then I will rinse it, re-rinse it with clean water, right? Clean water. Let's see, this is the last one. Did I get this one? Let's look inside. And sometimes if it looks just too dirty or whatever, but I try to, when I buy my produce, I always look for the beautiful, the prettiest bunch of whatever that is, whether it's a fruit or whether it's, it's vegetables, I look for the best bunch, right? Sometimes it may mean an extra, some extra miles to find um, the store that has the, help, the better fruit. Oops, oops, dropped it. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour out this water because this water is dirty, right? We just, we just washed all of these vegetables that had debris on it. So I'm gonna pour that out. And now I'm going to fill it with clean water, more clean water, right? And what I like to do is I, you know, I wash my gloves because since I used, um, those are dirty, so I'm going to just wash my gloves. I know that seems a bit odd, but, you know, just out of caution. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add more clean water, right? I just want to give it another extra rinse. Okay, so like I said, this is prep day, so it's kind of, <laughs> prep day is always the hardest time when you, when you have to wash these things. All right, so I'm just gonna add some more water. Just give it a good washing. And this is, you know, this is water, a lot of water. Seems like a lot of water wasting, but I'm doing this uh, for demo purposes. And um, so many of you probably have, you know, filters and things like that. So, which is good. We need filters, right? We need filters in our homes in our apartments, wherever we are. So I'm just taking some more clean water and I am making sure that all debris is off of here, right? And look how green and beautiful that is. Wow, that's what happens when you wash it and make it beautiful. Getting all the bacteria, all the dirt off of these, um, off of these vegetables and these fruits. Now we can feel good about what we're going to juice, right? Look at how bright the carrots are. The carrots are nice and orange. Okay, so this is the pre-prep, the prep day before the juicing begins. This is only a small portion of what I will be juicing up this week, but I wanted to give you a demonstration of what I will, of how to uh, get ready for your cleanse, your juice challenge, rather. This is a juice juice challenge seven day juice challenge okay so when I look in the water I look down in the water the water looks pretty clean so that tells me that all of the debris is out of here right so I'm going to pour this water out Pour this water out. And then, if you do not have a, a vegetable dryer or fruit dryer, and they're hard to find, it's hard to find really good, 
reliable, reliable um, vegetable and fruit dryers. So what you can do is you can uh, towel, paper towel, pat your vegetables, which it takes a lot of paper towel sometimes, or you can use a, a dry dish cloth, a, a clean one. Make sure you use a dry, clean dish cloth, and I'll show you how you can do that. Um, so you can take a cloth like this, and you can pat dry these. Pat dry them so they're not, you know, wet. You don't want them super wet when you are putting them in your juicer. You want them as dry as possible, right? So I am going to dry these. Show you how I dry them. Okay. So we're just going to take a leaf at a time and we're not, you know, we just want to kind of pet dry it so we don't use up all the paper towels. And that's fine if you want to use paper towels as well. Sometimes I use paper towels, but I'm going to show you this way today. Just want to kind of pat dry these. So they're not dripping water, right? Okay. This is the world of juicing, guys, ladies and gentlemen, ladies, viewers. This is the world of juicing. It is worth it. When I tell you juicing is going to help jumpstart your journey towards natural healing, this is it. This is the one of the best ways to get your vitamins and minerals nutrients in your body fast, quick, and in a hurry to begin its healing process or whatever that process, whether you're trying to lose weight, whether you're trying to lose weight, whatever your goal is, this is the way to do it. This even will give you, um, some instances, put muscles, you know, it's, it's just, juicing has a lot of great benefits. And if you have not seen my video, please go and watch that video on the benefits of juicing. I have a lot of great things coming up for you all. So just stay tuned in. Okay, I'm not going to sit here and let you go through this process as I dry. Um, everything here, but I wanted to come on and give you tips, tools, and resources on how I do my prepping when I'm getting ready to juice, right? So if you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm so glad you found my channel. I'm so glad you found my channel. Welcome. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for hitting the like button. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Share it with your circle of influence and all those out there who are looking for ways to amp up their health and their well-being, right? I'm going to put this up. So I don't... Yeah, so this is the channel that they want to be on. We are here as holistic bosses in this community, a community of holistic bosses who are taking back control of their health and their well-being so they can thrive and have the energy and begin the healing, the natural healing process, whatever that is, whatever that looks like, right? This is the channel that you want to visit. So this video today is prepping you on how to wash clean, Scrub your vegetables and your fruit before you start that juicing process. So this is day one challenge, juice challenge. Day one starts tomorrow. So be here, right? And if you missed this video, you can always see the replay of the seven day challenge. All right. 
This is Coach Renee, your holistic health and wellness strategist, coming to you every single week with tasty tips, tools, and resources that you can use and begin implementing into your life right now, right? If you are looking for new ways to come up with some uh, delicious meals, grab my recipe book. All the links will be in the description below. If you are going to come and start this challenge with us, let me know in the comments so we can all get on this challenge together. And I want to hear your comments. I want to see who has helped, how it's helped you. I want to know, right? All right, beautiful. Until next time, remember to stay whole, healthy, and happy. All right? Take care. And don't forget to get your supplies, get your vegetable bowls, get your vegetable scrubber, get your vegetable scrubber, get your apple cider vinegar. You can find this in any local grocery store. Get your apple cider vinegar. Go grab your lemon to put in there, right? Get all the tools that you need. Make sure you have your juicer, cold press, preferably you want a cold press juicer it's because we want all the vitamins and minerals and nutrients in this vegetables and these fruits that we can keep. We want to keep it all right. Let's see what else. Make sure you have your cutting knives and all those things so we can get juicing up. We're going to get juicing up. Let's juice. Let's juice. Let's go. All right. Take care. Have an amazing day, an awesome day, wherever you find yourself. See you next time.